Love Island Australia has positioned itself as the show to watch, as its islanders have sex all over the house and aren't shy about stripping off in front of the cameras. It's a huge contrast to the UK version, where the only action viewers have seen in two weeks was Rosie Williams's half-hearted sex act on Adam Collard, who repaid her by eyeing up new girls are a McDermott. But the Down Under stars, who are filming on the same island of Mallorca as the British ones, are getting up to so many filthy sexploits that the cameras can't keep up. Here's what they've been getting up to. Viewers have been tuning in to Island Island O because it's far filthier than the UK version constant sex that's allowed the other islanders can't sleep dumped islander Justin Lacko complained that he'd had to wear earplugs to drown out the sounds of Eden Daly and Erin Barnett's late night romps, complete with moans, groans and slapping noises. The raunchy couple first started going at it on the second night in the villa and physically moved the bed with the exertions of the love making. I'm quite old school and I kind of feel like there is a time and a place for that and it definitely is not in the company of others, a sleep-deprived Justin moaned to the Daily Telegraph. The islanders haven't held back from getting down and dirty, image 9 go, I heard all the sounds and all the movements so I had to put in my earplugs to get a good night's sleep. Thank God for earplugs, and evicted islander Kim Hartnett said a night without one of the couples having sex is very rare indeed. It's pretty obvious for the audience to know which ones are doing it, she said without naming them. I think the first night they did it they full on had an audience, everyone was sitting up and watching them. Then it just got to the point where you were used to it. It was kind of like a bedtime lullaby, if they didn't do it you'd be like what's going on, used condoms everywhere viewers were scandalized by some scenes, image 9 go, as with the UK love island, the Aussies have a hideaway in the villa where one couple can stay the night in the relative privacy of the enclosed room, which features a furry throw, rose petals scattered over the bed and only a handful of cameras to catch all the action. But unlike the Brits, the Australian islanders have been making the most of the hideaway, also dubbed the sex room, by getting kinky in there. Loved up couple Taylor Damir and Grant Crap had a night in the hideaway, with Grant boasting afterwards that they'd had a lot of sex overnight. I had a F asterisk asterisk king good night, and I went more than once, he bragged to the camera. And while the producers couldn't show what was going on under the sheets, they did let the camera linger over a used condom wrap, dirty screwed up tissues and a trail of discarded clothes leading up to the bed. Full frontal nudity grants full frontal wax had viewers reeling, image 9 go, love island Australia love triangle results in steamy romp in the hideaway even Australian viewers were turned off when the show aired its most disgusting moment yet, the sight of Grant's genitals getting a full wax while he screamed in pain. His ex Cassidy McGill took revenge on him recoupling with Taylor by forcing him to lay face down on a sun lounger and applying four wax strips to his hairy buttocks. Oh my gosh that's so f asterisk asterisk King Harry Grant, says one of the islanders while Taylor filmed the whole thing. The camera zoomed right in on Grant's bum crack as Cassidy spread his cheeks to get the wax all the way in and kept lingering on his private parts as he wreathed around in agony as the girls ripped off the strips. Filthy sex games the islanders have been getting involved in X-rated games, image 9 go, Love Island Australia gets saucy with X-rated pizza making competition having raunchy challenges on. Love Island is nothing new, last year's sausage fest being a classic of its genre, but the Australian version seems to be far, far filthier. In the very first week, the islanders had to confess the most scandalous sex secrets. One claimed she had a two-night fling with Justin Bieber, another got caught by police having sex in a school car park, while this week, viewers collectively dropped their jaws at the Every Holes A Goal Challenge, which saw the islanders kiss and lick each other's body parts. 
They've also played Dirty Pizza, which had the boys suggestively squirting tomato sauce into the girls' mouths and the girls rolling out dough with the boobs as they had to make the perfect pizza without using the hands. Asterisk Love Island UK continues tonight at 9pm on ITV2.